To attach your transducer to the scanner, have a look at the diagram on the back and make sure your probe is orientated the same way as the diagram. You can use either ports A or B. Push it all the way in and then twist. If you're using your scanner for the first time, be sure to remove the protective tape from the front. To power the machine on, it is a press and hold, not a quick press. If I do a quick press, nothing happens. It's as if the machine is broken. Press and hold, and the machine will power on. If you're using your machine for the very first time, you'll need to peel off the protective cover. Before you get started with scanning, there are a couple of things you may like to do. Press the setup key and use your tracker ball to move over to the word normal. Press set. This is where you can input your hospital name. You may also want to turn off the key sound. You notice every time I press a button, there's a beeping sound. That can be quite disconcerting for patients who are trying to relax, sometimes in stressful situations. So if you move over to key sound and uncheck that with the set button, then when I go to OK, from now on, the beeping sound will have stopped. If you want to input patient details in your examinations, Simply go to Patient, and this is where you can input their name, their hospital ID number, and their age and sex. The overall brightness or darkness of your image or gain is controlled by your gain knob here. Your time gain compensation, which is gain at different depths, is controlled by these sliders here. You don't want them all awry like this. Ideally, you would either have them all in a straight line, which allows the ultrasound machine to calculate the gain for you, or some people like to have them sloped like this, which is simply saying, at a shallower depth, I need less gain, and at greater depth, further down in my image, where more ultrasound energy will have been lost, I want to amplify my gain. If you're not used to using TGC, I would recommend just leaving it in the middle and let the ultrasound machine do the thinking for you. Depth itself, which is how deep into the body you want to look or how shallow you want to make your image, is controlled by the function knob here. These are centimetre markers down the side and you will notice that they change in proportion as you adjust your depth. The other important control is frequency. In larger patients you often need to reduce your frequency to get better penetration. In slimmer, more echogenic patients you can often afford to increase your frequency which gives you more beautiful images. That can be adjusted by pressing the frequency button here. Once you've got an image you like, you can freeze it with the snowflake icon. And you can save it using iSave. You may wish to perform gestational age calculations. To do this, press OB. and using your tracker ball, move your mouse over and select which calculation package you would like to use. For example, biparietal diameter, which is head diameter, crown rump length, or gestational sac. To select the one that you want to use for that stage of pregnancy, press set, move your tracker ball over to your image and press set to place your first caliper point. Press set to place it again, and you will then get the gestational age displayed on screen. It will also give you the length and the estimated due date 
of that baby. And now I'm at the end of the exam, my patient's gone and I want to look back at my pictures. Press I review and here are the two pictures that I have stored. From here I can export my images if I want to save them onto a computer. To do that I need to insert a USB stick. I'll input my USB stick here. I then select the picture that I want to send and copy to you. To exit from here, navigate to cancel and press set.